Hey Patreon, I'm gonna give you a real quick behind the scenes look of how we store the cadavers and what I need to do in order to get them ready to be taught from or dissected. So let's get to it. So first off, I'm gonna put on some gloves. You don't have to put on gloves. The preservative, the phenoxyethanol that we use is naturally cleaning. It destroys all the microbes in order to prevent decomposition, but 99% of the time, I'm gonna wear gloves as a matter of choice. Okay, so next you can see that we store the cadavers in this plastic. A lot of times people are thinking, oh hey, they need to be you know, in some kind of giant vat of embalming fluid, and that's just not the case, especially with this type of preservation process. So we keep them just stored here on the table, wrapped in plastic. So my first step is going to be, obviously, to unwrap the plastic. So I typically start with the head, it really doesn't matter, but what we do is I just kind of bring it out. And let me be very clear, you wanna go really slow with this. There has been numerous times that I've gone way too fast and sometimes, and I apologize if this is too graphic, embalming fluid can accumulate inside of the bag. And so since we twist it up, if you just let it unravel, it can literally, sorry, again, spit embalming fluid into your face. And Jonathan likes to make fun of me because that actually happened when he and I were in the lab together. I just like let it helicopter its way out and I just got hit in the face with embalming fluid. And I don't recommend that to anybody. But what we do is we just take the plastic and we wrap it up so nice and tight. And so if I were to put the cadaver back, what I'd be doing is I would just twist the bag and then I would place it underneath their head. But since I'm unwrapping the cadaver, I'm just gonna go like this and then I'm going to go to the other side. I'm gonna go down to the feet, I'm gonna unwrap there, and then I'm gonna, well, unwrap the entire cadaver. Okay, so as you can tell, I have unraveled the end, so now I'm going to unwrap the entire cadaver. So it's pretty simple, I'm just gonna grab the plastic, and I'm gonna bring it over like so. And I'm just going to unwrap the entire cadaver like this. Now, what I typically like to do is get the plastic kind of as close to the body as possible because typically if we're doing a workshop, you're gonna have people standing around like this and I don't want the plastic just kind of getting in their way. So I tend to roll it up and get it as close to the body as possible. Okay, so next you're gonna notice that we have this kind of cloth that goes over the cadaver. Now what we'll do is we will usually spray that with our preservative, the phenoxyethanol, as an added layer of moisture for the cadavers. But this just rests on top of them. So if I want to be teaching from them or do some dissection, I will grab the cloth and then I pull it back. And then we can see all the structures that we need to and I can start teaching or doing whatever I need to do. So obviously, then I would then spray the cadaver down in order to keep them, well, moist and then when, when this is all when I'm done, and then I just put it all back together. So it's just a reverse order, put this on, spray it down, and wrap him back up. That's how we take care of these cadavers. And again, they can stay like this for 10 years. So thanks again, Patreon. I hope this was a fun, quick, little, just behind the scenes look. Be on the lookout for more of these coming out.